Next one is the classical chemical analysis. This is where titration is used. This is a measure of, um, the first one is a measure of the acid value. This, to, when we talk about pH of perfume materials, it's generally not, not that much off of 7.7, 7, yeah? It's not really interesting for us, but there are some materials where it is, is important, things like um, benzoin, yeah? Gums and resinoids, they have a, like an acid value that can be measured. A solution is made of the material with an indicator that changes, yeah? So, like litmus, you know litmus? Yeah, it, uh, I forget which colour it is when it's, it, let's say, it's, is it blue normally? Yeah, but which is, which is, red, red is acid? Yeah, yeah, so red is acid. So, in your liquid it will be red, the, the indicator, and you have an alkali in a, a burette and you, let, let it drop in slowly and you measure how much of the alkali you need to change it to, to red or blue. <laughs> yeah, <we'll see>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I can never remember which way. Till it, till it changes, yeah, so if, if it comes clear. Using alkaline, then uh, you need to watch when the red starts changing yes, to blue. Yes, to blue, yes, yeah. So you're looking for that point when it's not blue and it's not red, yeah? And that tells you how much acid, free acid there is in the, in the product. <coughs> Sorry? Phenophenol, yeah, phenoph phenophthalene, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, ester value, all of these, these three are measured in basically in the same way, yeah? Ester value is a measure of the esters, what are esters? Acetates, butyrates, propionates, formates, yeah? Alcohols and acids, yeah, which produce an, uh, an ester. So sometimes you buy essential oils, like lavender, and it says lavender oil 40-42%. That number 40-42% refers to its ester value and it's regarded as the measure of linolyl acetate but really it's a measure of other esters too but most of it's linolyl acetate so linolyl acetate is a good thing regarded as a good thing to have in lavender yeah 4042 is a good a good quality yeah the maximum it usually goes to is about 50 52 percent <coughs> You can go to certain companies and buy lavender oil 100%. What does that mean? Linolyl acetate, synthetic linolyl acetate. <laughs> I've seen it sold, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's linolyl acetate. <laughs> Lavendin, for example, is normally 20, 22%, around that level of linolyl acetate. Um, I'm trying to think other things you might see it on, but, but it's a measure of the ester content, yeah. Acetates, butyrates, formates. And last but not least, the peroxide value. This is used for fixed oils. Um, if peroxide value, if you like, is a measure of the rancidity of an oil. Yeah, so the lower the peroxide value, the better. If a oil has a high peroxide value, it's probably rancid, and it will cause irritation of the skin. This is what you get when you add the 
Yeah. 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 I mean, uh, yeah. yeah. It would be the same thing as a free. Yeah. But checking also sometimes the acetic acid. Yes. You find out if it's half one or when you smell, but then you check the amount. Yes. Is it something that we can do in the Acetic acid you can do by titration. Ah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. However, yeah, if something it has a high peroxide value, what else could you use to detect it? Nose. The nose. Yeah. So, to be honest, you know, if <laughs> you don't need to to send it to a lab, yeah. If it smells rancid, yeah, the peroxide value is high, it's likely to cause, it's cause irritation, yeah. So the best, best thing is, is training, yeah, like for, for uh, masseurs and things, yeah, to sniff their oils before they use them, yeah. But there are some oils that have, have a, like a r slightly rancid char character always, like evening primrose oil has, a, has this uh, slightly rancid note, but you have to know that before you start, yeah. Mm. Yes. Do you sometimes also add antioxidants to keep away the rancidity? Ideally. That's why vitamin E is added. Yeah. I, but to be honest, you know, I'm not, I'm not actually a, that great a fan of vitamin E. Uh, a pure vitamin E, yeah, I, I actually find is quite irritating by itself. Yeah. Vitamin E by itself is a pure vitamin E. Vitamin E acetate is not, but Vitamin e, vitamin e acetate is not is not efficient for a, a product in terms of yeah so I'm not a great fan of vitamin E despite despite the fact it isn't it can be natural and yeah it is it is a bit irritant if uh, and if you take um, capsules and things you'll, you'll notice this it is natural vitamin E is usually a dark brown color yeah if you buy natural vitamin E and it's a light color it's either the vitamin E acetate or it's uh, synthetic vitamin E. Yeah. 